Since I noticed that the radiator had some plug fins underneath when I was doing the coolant swap, I decided that I was going to rotate the radiator and do a more thorough cleaning. Now it's designed for this, it has a couple of pivot points in the back and these two bolts in the front. And it has a locking mechanism to hold it up once you release it. So I'm going to remove these two bolts and see how it goes. So, big washer, big nut. I'm going to pull that top bolt straight out. And there is a top washer here too. So that is free on that side. Let's hope. No. <laughs> Let's hope this side is we can get to. This big coolant hose that covers the top of it. Which might make this a little more difficult. We left down. See if it rotates. Oh, it wants to. Oh, and it's heavy. So after I broke it loose, it still didn't want to quite rotate, and I found that a coolant hose that went to the top was zip tied in a way that wouldn't allow it to freely rotate up. So I cut that off, lifted it up, and locked it in place. That was a lot of work for just a few more inches, but I guess that's what you need to be able to get at this motor and radiator. So now that I have the radiator tilted and locked in place, I'm gonna to attempt to remove the fan shroud which has a total of six bolts. Okay, let's start with the hardest ones, which are gonna be in the back. Good sign. did this because it is full of stuff. So this is after a couple of cleanings before today and you can see how badly it's just caked in here. No matter how much pressure I put from the top I just wasn't clearing these so that's why I needed to drop the shroud and clean it from the bottom. You can just see it's caked in the corners where I couldn't really get the hose into and you can see by some of these fins the whole channel is just completely blocked. Big chunks. Lots of big chunks. Yikes. Okay, well I'm soaking wet. That uh, could have actually been the source of my misery. So it turned out that almost every single one of those fins was completely clogged, which is really bad. So it took about an hour to really get it so that no more mud was coming out when I was blowing water through the fins. So now I'm gonna get the fan shroud back on there, close it all up and see if that made a difference. what I'm gonna do. So I'm happy to report that after closing this all up and running this for a little while, uh, this seems like it solved my problem. So this is one of the major issues I've been chasing for a little while. So yay! Anyhow, thanks again for watching and please consider subscribing. It's getting there. I needed to tap out for a little while. Ready for lunch? Lunch? Do I get lunch?